y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to share with you our curriculum choices for this year. So I'm going to show you our language arts and math choices in this video. And we'll just do a quick flip through of those and then I will do a separate video that shows you our history curriculum and what we will do for science this year. Um, so just if you'd like to see that next video, be sure that you subscribe ring the bell and you'll be notified when that comes out next week. Okay, so this is an example of the Good and the Beautiful's kindergarten curriculum. Um, this, I've got lesson one and lesson two here to show you. So lesson one starts out with a picture study and it's a very short lesson. They would look at this picture and tell you some things that they can find in the painting that might bring them joy and then name some colors that they find in the painting and that is about it for that lesson. Um, typically the picture studies are a little bit more in depth but that's just a short one for the first lesson of the year. And then lesson two um, has practicing sight words, practicing phonics cards, and then um, sounding out two letter words there's an activity here where your child would read the sentence and then mark it with a bean if it matches the picture. And then on the back of lesson two, there's some more reading practice, some spelling practice, and some handwriting practice. Um, and so one of the things about the good and the beautiful is that um, in these new editions, they have one lesson per day um, and the lessons will have things like this in them. Sometimes there may be geography. Um, they'll have the picture studies throughout. Um, it's a really good mix of um, different types of lessons throughout the curriculum. The other thing is on the beginning of each unit, um, they'll have this printout that has your spelling words for the unit. Um, the principles that are going to be taught, the mini books that your child will read, and what supplies you might need for that lesson. Um, so this is The Good and the Beautiful Kindergarten, and if you have any questions about it, you can just leave those in the comments and I'll be sure to get to them. Okay, so my second grader is going to be using language lessons for a living education level two. This is um, a curriculum that is put out by Master Books. And inside of the curriculum, um, the first thing listed is a scope and sequence. Um, and then if you go on a couple pages over, you will see that they have um, given you a suggested daily schedule. So this is going to make things super easy for mom or dad or who's ever teaching um, to know what to expect for each day. You could also use this as your grade book if your state requires you to keep grades. These are broken up into nine week quarters and they're also further broken down by semester. So this is a Charlotte Mason based curriculum. So each lesson starts with a story and then each week follows the same setup. Um, you'll have a lesson per day and um, the lessons are short. They're supposed to take about 15 to 20 minutes per lesson. Um, on the fourth day, they will tell a story and draw a picture for that story and they start out just writing one or two sentences per story. And as the course goes on, they will write more sentences for their stories. And then on the fifth day, they will practice spelling words. These spelling words are also available in a list in the back of this book so that you could um, go over the words with your child starting on Monday and then review them throughout the week and then just kind of finish up on Friday with spelling words if that's the way you choose to do it. Um, the lessons also have picture studies in them. 
There's different activities to, to practice the spelling words. There's copy work, handwriting practice, scripture memorization. Here's another story. Unscramble the words, that's fun for spelling practice. Um, here they'll learn titles for people. And abbreviations. I think this curriculum is going to be really great for um, helping my daughter to become more independent in her work because since it follows the same um, type of schedule for each week. She's going to learn what is expected of her each day and I should just have to go over the instructions with her and she should be able to do most of this work on her own. So here in the back of the book there are um, some game suggestions that you can do to help your child practice the different principles that they're learning throughout the curriculum. And these are games that you could even incorporate your other children into. And then there is um, a page here for you to write down spelling words that they may have trouble with that you'd like to do additional practice with. And then the next thing starts your spelling lists and see they're broken up into lessons so you could start those on Monday if you wanted to do that. There's also some sight words in the back, some handwriting practice, um, and the copy work back here is also a review of the principles that they are learning. And you can make copies of these pages if you wanted to so that you would have them to use over and over. And then lastly, you've got grammar study sheets. And so these would be great for reviewing their grammar lessons. I think I'm gonna take these out and laminate them so that they will hold up well throughout the entire year. And then there is an answer key in the back. So this is Language Lessons for Living Education, Level 2 and it is by Master Books. All right, so this is Math Lessons for a Living Education by Master Books, and um, my kindergartner will be using level one, and my second grader will be using level two. Um, they're both set up very similarly, so I'm just gonna show you the inside quickly on each of these. Um, when you open the book, you'll have your scope and sequence for the school year for the, each course. And then when you flip a few pages over, there is a suggested daily schedule for each quarter. It's broken down by week and further broken down by day. And then you have a place to write a due date for your child if he or she is working independently and a place where you can mark their grade for each lesson. Each story, um, or each lesson, excuse me, begins with a story about Charlie and Charlotte because this is a Charlotte Mason based curriculum. So you'll read that story and then your lesson will come from there. So each um, day has one lesson. And there's these beautiful bright pictures throughout the book. There is review built into the curriculum. And 
then when you flip to the back of each of these books, there are additional helps. Um, there are place value villages that you'll use within your lessons. There's a place value counting mat, addition mats, number cards. There's a hundreds chart. We've got a clock. There's some other manipulatives in there as well. So that is level one. And then in level two, it's set up very much the same. You've got your scope and sequence. You've got your suggested daily schedule broken down the same way. And then if your children started in lesson um, in level one and they continue with level two, they're also going to continue with Charlie and Charlotte in their stories. And their daily work is the same um, setup. They've got a lesson per day in level two. This will be our first year using master books for math. Um, so I will do a review on these um, once we've used them for a few months. My second grader has done some of this before in the curriculum we used last year. So much of this will be review for her. Um, and if it seems that this is going to be too simple, we will move to level three. But um, I just thought it would be best to start with this and give her some confidence in the lessons that are here. And then if I think that we need to move ahead, we will do that. So um, in the back of this level, there are also some manipulatives. There are those place value village cards again in the counting rounds. There are some hundreds counters, a hundreds chart, number cards, addition mats, addition facts, There's some doubles, families, fact sheets. And then this was in the level one. Also, it is how to create right brain flashcards. And then there's a calendar in the back of here. So I intend to um, take these books apart um, and divide them up into folders for my children, that's how we're going to do our um, curriculum organization this year. And so when I take these apart, I will also laminate those manipulatives so that they will last for the entire year without getting too um, worn. So again, this is Math Lessons for a Living Education by Masterbooks. We've got level one and level two. And I will do an updated review on these once we have used them for a few months this school year. If you have used Masterbooks already and you have anything that you'd like to share about that, please do so in the comments. And if you have any questions or you'd like to see anything else from this curriculum, leave that down there as well. And I will be sure to check in with you guys later.